type T code FBL5N to display the customer line items. Select customer account for which you want to display line items. Select company code for which you want to display line items. Click execute so that system may display the required line items. Click after you have seen the required line items to exit from the current screen. Type T code F28 to go to post incoming payments screen. Select document date here. Select company code here. Select currency as INR here. Select bank account here. Enter amount here. Select incoming account here from which payment is to be received. By default all the open items are activated. Select all and deactivate them. Activate only the required open items. Click save button to post your entry. Click to exit from the current screen. System will ask you if you want to exit from editing. Click. Type T code FBL1N to display vendor line items. Select vendor account for which you want to display line items. Select company code here. Click execute to display line items for selected vendor. Click to exit from the current selected screen. Type T code F53 to go to post outgoing payments screen. Select document date here. Select bank account here from where you are making payment. Enter payment amount here. Select expense slash vendor account here for which you are making the payment. Click process open items to view all the open items pending for payment. By default all the open items are activated. Activate only the required open items and deactivate the other open items. Double click the items for which you want to make payment. Click to post your payment entry. Click to exit from the current selected screen. System will ask you if you want to exit from editing. Click. Select T code F110 to go to automatic payment program APP screen. Select the date here when you want to run automatic payment program. Put transaction identification here. The identification ID can be of alphanumeric of up to five characters. Click on tab. Enter company code for which automatic payment program is to be run. Select payment method here. Select next payment date here. Select vendor here. Click on tab. Click on to open the values. Double click the document number. Enter flash select the document number here. Multiple document numbers can be specified for which the payment is to be done. Click on tab. Click on to create a log for the due date. Click on. You can select only one from the second and third option. For the second option the system will create a log in all the cases. For the third option, log will be created only if the payment method fails. Click on. It will create a log for the line items of the payment documents. Click on tab. Input the variant name against the program used for AP peer. Click on save to save all the settings. Click proposal. To create a payment proposal. Click on checkbox to start the payment proposal immediately or you can specify the payment proposal start date and time. Click on to create a payment receipt against the payment document. Click schedule. Click on status to refresh the status of the APP. Click on proposal to view the proposed invoices. If the indicator is green, the payment proposal has been successfully created. If it is red, the proposal has errors. Click to go to the previous screen. Click proposal to view the log. Click to go back to the previous screen. Click payment run to run the payment program.
Click Schedule to schedule automatic payment. Click Status to check the status of the transaction. The payment run has been carried out. Click Payment to display the payment log. The spool number has been generated for the payment run. Go to SP01 to display the created spool request. Enter the user name and click Execute to display the spool requests for the user. Click to see print preview. Click to exit the screen. Click.